Hello to my Geminis. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading, Geminis. Let's get into it. Let's see what's in your cards. Reading is for 21st of August through the 28th of August. Um, you can still do your full moon rituals as the uh, full, we're in the we're still in the full moon phase. So until about the 22nd. It's still in the full moon phase, so and the moon is in Pisces. So if you've been feeling super sensitive or you've just been feeling like you're having these downloads and dreams and you can't really articulate, make any sense of it, that's because the moon is in Pisces. So, you know, still journal. Still keep putting positive energy out into the universe, um, Gemini. Plus your ruling planet, Mercury, is also retrograde. So still keep putting good energy out into the universe because that's what you want to come back. So... You don't want to send out confusion to the universe. So whatever you've been praying for anybody or uh, praying over yourself, whatever, keep putting good energy out into the universe because that's what you want to come out, uh, come back to you. And of course, uh, that looks like an intention, whatever, setting your intentions for the day. So let's get into it. Let's see what this looks like. Let's see what the next seven days look like for you. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Yeah, we had a blue moon on the, yeah, we had a blue moon on the 19th, right? On Monday the 19th, we had a blue moon. Hopefully you all got some good pictures. It was also a harvest moon. It's a full moon in Aquarius. Um, thunder moon. All those wonderful things. So, again, still do your full moon rituals. Rule of thumb, three days prior to the moon being fully illuminated. Three days after, you should be good. It's a time for guidance, protection, healing. All right, let's do it. Okay. Ten of Pentacles, something having to do with family legacy. And so some boundaries are being set and enforced when it comes to family legacy because there are some gray areas there. There's some gray areas there when it comes to the family legacy and it's not as black or white. And legacy wealth, wealth of knowledge, what's being passed down, information being passed down, that sort of thing, right? So some boundaries are being set. Some new traditions are being set. You have an ancestor that is um, is sharing some things with you, like some information is coming through. And that's why, you know, when you get all these downloads, you're getting a wealth of knowledge that's being transferred down to you. So you want to document this. Pentacles deals with the physical existence of this. So you want to document these things. There's, if you have kids, like in this picture, there's a child here, it's two sides of a family, and so people have their legacy that they're building, you have your legacy that you're building, if you have kids in the middle, then there's something being poured from both sides, right, so you have a wealth of knowledge, um, or if they're adult kids, it's a wealth of knowledge, but wealth of knowledge regardless, you have a wealth of knowledge about your family, you have a wealth of knowledge about theirs, you know, pouring into something, but boundaries are being set, right? And they're also being enforced. Rules, traditions, all of those are being set. You have your set of rules and traditions. If you're with somebody, because like I said, somebody could be entering into a new situation here. You know, this could be a new um, legacy, right? So it could be you and your kids. It could be you and a new spouse. It could be you and a current spouse. You can be a, a single parent, co-parenting, whatever your legacy is. Some new, um, this world card lets me know that something has been fulfilled, right? So you're not waiting on some kind of recognition. Something has been set. Like you have set some rules in place for some things. You have a wealth of knowledge about some things and some rules have been set in place. And those boundaries are not to be crossed. So here we have the Knight of Pentacles here. And you work very hard to put some things in place so the boundaries are not to be crossed. And and so it lets me know that somebody is financially independent as well. So you could be dealing with somebody who is single or, you know, you could be single opening up some room for a new um, legacy wealth for you or um, you could be um, hard work ethic could be something that's also very important for you all. That could be part of a legacy is that we come from a hardworking family. We don't just skate back through life. We don't just, it's not as, it's not as black and white as people think it is. Like we really work hard for what we have, you know, in the family. So this is Saturn. Saturn is a very serious planet. Um, it's currently retrograde. 
And so that could be something that's like we save ourselves. We work, we put in the work around here, right? So that could be something that you're telling, you know, your family members. It's like things are not just coming easily when it, you, you can you can look at stuff and look at things can come easy. I don't know who it's coming easy for, but you could be setting a, setting something for somebody saying, hey, we don't just, things don't just come easy. You know, nobody's going to be lazy. You know, in other words, people work, right? So here we have the queen of swords so i feel like you're setting your um you're vetting your thoughts your mm, child the car is flying but anyway i feel like i feel like you're carefully vetting your thoughts so if you're you know talking to someone whether you're getting ready to start dating somebody or whatever the case may be you've worked hard to get to where you are to create you know set some boundaries some rules and some things like that and so somebody either headed towards you know, King of Pentacles. Well, you're working hard towards King of Pentacles, which is the wealthiest card in the deck. And so, and you're a hardworking person. So it's not like somebody just sitting down, just waiting for something to happen. Like people see you work, you're a hardworking person. You put the work in. You're not, just, you're not lazy. You're not just sitting back, you know, with your hands folded behind, <laughs> folded behind your head <laughs> with your feet up. <laughs> That would be nice, though, right? Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> but no, nah, that, that's not. Yeah, somebody is rebuilding. Here we have the ten of so ten of wands here. So it looks like you could be rebuilding. And so when you're talking about rebuilding, yeah, when you're talking about rebuilding, and, and people think, you know, people people have opinions about you know rebuilding. You know, it's not your responsibility to carry other people's financial responsibilities when you feel like that's backbreaking for you and you're trying to build something right and so you you're you're saying something about you come from a family where people work hard you're not playing games you you're not and pete i feel like anybody who knows you know you don't come from you know laziness looking at your cars here like people see you put the work in that's what i'm seeing here you right here in the car that's where you setting boundaries you're not playing games. Something has been fulfilled. Like people see that you're working hard. People see you come from a hardworking family. They see you're you're this this not for you. There's no gray area. You're not joking around. <laughs> it's like you this right here. You this right. This a person right here. This is a person who was booked and busy. You're not. You ain't taking time. You're not burdened and bitter by anything. You like no. You're a hardworking person. Who has time to be um, burdened and bitter when you're working hard to build a legacy? Like what? Who's doing all of that? So anyway, here we have the Six of Swords. So you're moving through a rite of passage. And, um, and it looks like, you know, you've already dealt with people who have hurt people who have hurt other people, right? So you've already dealt with those types of energies. People who have seen you at your lowest point and left you there. Didn't even reach down to try to help you. You left all them people behind. Here we have the Six of Swords here. So yeah, you've already been disappointed. You've left them people behind. The Ten of Swords, you've already risen up out of ashes. You know, you know, like the phoenix, you've already risen up. You has your, you already asked yourself why. Why didn't people help you when you was at your lowest? You already asked them questions. You beyond all of that. Here we have the moon card. This you right here. You said you left them. The mask wearing, the mask slid off people's faces. You just stop asking people, asking questions why. You just got to work. Like you, that's something that, like I said, that's something that's passed down through your legacy. It's hard work. So you just got to work. You weren't waiting for somebody to do something for you. So people assume what they want to assume because I feel like people were talking about you from your past, like trying to overwhelm you. And, you know, they had this certain belief system about you that you was just lazy, just sitting back, waiting on this and that. But then they start, that's why I keep trying to tell people, when people start talking about you and they, this is the I believe sign. Source is saying, when people think that you come from just sitting back, they have a belief system about you just sitting back. You just want to be a part of something, you know, where people just, you just want to just waltz into people's lives. So I'm just saying, no, you work hard for everything you got. So where people get that lie from? So no, so you, as you rebuilding and so, and then you see the baby in the picture too. If you have kids, that's the, that same work ethic has been passed down to them. See, a lot of times parents will work hard for their kids so their kids don't have to work as hard. And so when you come across spirits who assume people just kind of sort of just relaxing, it's cause, probably because their parents work super hard, right? So, um, but here we have the seven of wands here. 
And so seven is the number for completion. I do see somebody, you know, prayer life has increased, but also meditation life has increased. And through the meditation and possibly uh, telepathy, you know, just kind of sort of seeing yourselves kind of just continuing to just continue to build, 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 you know, how does that look? What does that look like? What do you, how do you, what kind of work do you put behind to build the life that you want? Here we have the queen of pentacles. So who do you want to build with? What kind of person do you want to build with? Somebody who is down to earth and relatable, somebody who is very hard working, right? Um, someone who is just not out and about, you know, all the time, somebody who is in the house you know, increasing their knowledge, right? And increasing their knowledge could be through increasing their knowledge through reading, educating themselves, books, right? Podcasts, learning, right? This That's what I'm looking at here on the, on the cards for you. You know, increasing their knowledge through learning. And that's how you, that's how you grow your legacy through learning. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. So no, you're not waiting around for somebody to just come galloping on a horse somewhere. <laughs> you out here putting the work in. So I feel like, um, I don't know who I'm talking to, but it feels like I feel like I'm talking to somebody where people have assumed certain things about you. You know, Gemini, maybe you look a certain way and people just assume certain things about you, but they got you all wrong. Somebody, the, the work ethic has been passed down. Definitely look at the Ten of Pentacles right here. You're not looking for anybody to pick you to step inside their vault door. You, you, but you work ethic is, so, so whoever been telling that lie... They need to stop. So take the blindfolds off. That is, that's not even something you would even internalize. And, and, and if you have kids, you can tell the kids to take the blindfolds off. That's not even something they even need to internalize. They can move on from that disappointment. So if you have kids and people have been in their ear talking about, oh, you know, you know, people just want to be a part of so and so and so and so, and 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 you know, we worked hard for this and that. People build their legacy however they want to build their legacy. People build their legacy however they want to build their legacy. Take the, you want to tell everybody take their blindfolds off. Take them take the blindfolds off. You're a hardworking person. Here we have the Empress card. So yeah, so somebody could be in your ear or could be like they just trying whoever it is trying to cut the. Uh, limit your abundance in some way shape form or fashion you need to just get away from them energies they like to keep people le whoever these energies are like to keep people levels below people right wearing masks masking something else trying to keep up with the joneses all that so to say you you're a hard-working person people build your legacy however you want to build your legacy you have a wealth of knowledge about you know hard, you got a wealth of knowledge and hard work your work ethic here we have the nine of cups you know feel like you hit the lottery emotionally you won't feel like you hit the lottery so something is happening here we have the queen of pentacles here yeah you cannot let t somebody else's belief system distract you from purpose the moon card the sun illuminates the moon sits behind the moon right and so source is trying to help somebody to see that there has to be a balance there there will be some people who will assume that you don't work hard they don't really see you out a lot. They don't really see, they don't see whatever. They can assume because they're trying to get, when we're looking at this right here, it can, you could can be dealing with some familiar spirits and they saying all kinds of stuff roaming through the air Oh, because they, they don't know certain things about you. You could be like Queen of, uh, Queen of Pentacles is a person who may sit in the house, you know, and in this day and time, this is a person, you could be a person who is, has a, um, could be like a hermit. And in this day and time, a lot of people are making money online. They telework. You may not be out and about on the scene or where you know hanging out all the time, but you may be making money, learning, teaching, doing something, and people not familiar with whatever. However, you make your money, and they're just assuming certain things. You don't have this. You don't have that. You don't have this and that. It's best to keep people out of your business. It's best to keep people out of your business. Let them assume whatever. You know what they say about people who assume. Here we have the um, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, because they want to be a part. They want to be invited into your... They want to be invited into your vault door. And that would be a no. They want to be... You worked hard for what you get. They want to be invited into your vault door. The answer is no. They too busy talking outside of your vault door about your work ethic. That has nothing to do with you. So, like I said, about a very clear boundary needs to be set that something needs to be left in the past. 
So if it's if it's a separation of family, like even if it's a if you, you're about to date somebody or whatever, and you've already been burned by that kind of stuff, the gossip and people that has to be established at the root. Looking at the cards, if you're about to date somebody and you've already been burned by people who like to run back and forth and run between houses and talk about, oh, they got a new this, they got a new that, that needs to be established at the root in the beginning of the conversation. That's not your love language. Or if it's if it's already, if there's kids already involved, if you want access to my life, all that running back and forth and, and telling what's going on, if I even catch wind of it, that's when it's going to end right there. Wake up. Like somebody has to, like I said, that's that nine right there. Now nine means that emotion, that emotional connection is over. That's when you're going to feel like you hit the jackpot. Because emotionally, you know, okay, that vault door is closed. That vault, you're going to feel like you jumped out of a treasure chest. Like that vault door is closed. Like if somebody is starting to realize, okay, if I want access to Gemini, I'm going to have to close my mouth. I'm going to have to stop talking about what is going on inside of Gemini's vault door. That's some of your friends, that's some of your family members, that's some of whoever who wants access to you. They're going to have to stop talking about what's going on in your life. So, take what resonates with you. Take what resonates with you. Let's see what else we got in your cards. Yeah, because somebody had to learn how to set boundaries because it was just too much information floating around. It was just too much disappointment, hurt people, hurting other people, giving people nervous breakdowns. It was just too much disappointment floating around. So, you finally had to just, somebody, you finally had to put your, somebody finally had to wake up from a nightmare. Somebody had to finally wake up from a nightmare of all the conversation and talking going on. Like somebody talked about you rebuilding something and, you know, you know, like I said, and so somebody, it finally gave somebody just the kind of the, 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 the finally gave somebody to put an ending to something. Like finally gave somebody an ending to say, okay, I need to stop. I need to keep, I'm, I'm inspired to now. A fire was put up under somebody to stop talking. Yeah. After a while, people start to realize they were the reason they were being used, you know, to talk about you, uh, Gemini. After a while, people start realizing they were the one that's being. How else people gonna know what's going on beside behind your vault door? Cause you're not the one that's telling it. People after a while realize once that vault door is closed and they don't have access to your business, whoever it is, your sister, your brother, your friend, or whatever the case may be, then there's no more use for them. That's when it hits people. Oh, they were being used. Because you create a boundary and you enforce the boundary. And you, you left, you said, mm -mm. you believe, all you went with was a belief. You're like, okay, hold on. You work too hard for where you're what you're doing here you work too hard for to build to rebuild your legacy and what in the world is going on so door closed all of a sudden all of a sudden this is like all heck broke loose people woke up and said oh shoot they figured it out and now you feel like you hit the jackpot emotionally you feel like you jumped out of a treasure chest Yep, hurt people who hurt people. They just staying around. And and now it's just like I said, this right here. Now people are sitting around like, okay, man, I, I didn't even realize what I was doing. Just talking, talking, being manipulated. Couldn't even figure it out, but you did. So um yeah, we have like I said, two sets of energies right here. Just like I said, somebody woke up out of a nightmare, but you started out on Queen of Swords, which lets me know. That all you had to do was sit on your throne and start carefully vetting your thoughts. So all you had to do was start sit on your throne and start carefully vetting your thoughts. And like, wait a minute. What in the world? Hmm, okay. 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 All you had to do was enforce a boundary. All you had to do was enforce a boundary. Yep. So, yeah, here we have the King of Wands here. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah, there you are. You're sitting on your throne, praying for people to come out of wilderness situations, whoever it is. Praying for people to come out of their wilderness situations. So whether you're entering into a whole new relationship, you have a guardian angel that's watching over you too. Um, whether you're praying for people to come out of wilderness situations, whatever the situation is, um, I see you building a very, very rich legacy, but that's how you have to do it sometimes. It's like things will come to you through the air about who has access to knowledge about your physical possessions, your houses, your cars, what's in your house, you know, who you're dating, who you're married to, who your kids are, you know, what your business is all about. Like people will have access and you just start doing a process of elimination and like, well, wait a minute now. So that's when source says, okay, time to close the vault door. Time to close the vault door. Whoever was being used, it put them in this position right here. They have no access to you because they were, their services were no longer needed. So there it is. That's you celebrating. Leaving energies behind while you're continuing to build. While you're continuing to build. Yep, so Source is cooking up something real nice for you. Source is cooking up something really, really, really nice for you. And um, like I said, you have a guardian angel. You know, there's some energies that are lamenting over some things that your head and heart are no longer at war with each other. But there's definitely some energies that's lamenting over some things because, again, like I said, your head and heart are no longer at war with each other. Sometimes you got to stop. You got to tell loved ones, hey, don't carry information outside of my house out there. Some people don't see any harm in it because, for whatever reason, until you close the vault door. Or until you close the vault door, until you stop going to lunch with certain people. They don't see, they don't hear anything until you just, until you put the car in park. Until you stop riding with people. All of a sudden, it's like, what? What What did I do with it? I try to ask you as nicely as I could. That's, that's something how, somehow it just wasn't registering. So, let's see. Um... Let's see which other cards here. Oh, let me get the other deck here. So, yeah, you all see what I'm saying here, Gemini, is you're building your legacy. Other people build whatever legacy they want to build. Sources say it has not whatever legacy other people want to build. That has nothing to do with you. Um, and so, like I said, Source is cooking up something nice for you. And so I feel like you are um, filling your mind up with like uh, somebody could be learning something new, maybe some new materials or something, really investing in yourself and just leaving behind, you know, energies that just never believed, just never believed in you. And they, and actually they weren't, they didn't have to believe in you really. I mean, you're like, it's not even that deep, for real. But you do have a, um, you definitely have a guardian angel watching over you, protecting you. Somebody who is a very nurturing spirit. So that could be somebody's grandmother, you know, mom, somebody, aunt. Could even be somebody's dad or grandfather, somebody. But anyway, so, so it's a quick progression of some things happening. So Source is cooking up something nice for you. So you're going to be fast tracked. Something is happening real fast for you. A good thing is happening real fast for you. So here we have the star card. So, yep. So, yep. So... Your star is shining bright. It's shining bright. So that star card symbolizes hope, bliss, optimism. So keep a great positive mindset. So whatever it is you're learning, you're going to catch on to something real fast. Like So keep speaking things into existence. You're building a very rich legacy. Whatever it is you're building, sources say it to you. Emotionally, you're going to feel like you hit the jackpot because your head and heart are no longer at war with each other. Sometimes it's just really in the details of like, just wait a minute, hold on. In your mind, you may have thought, okay, I left behind something. But sometimes you don't realize there's whatever connections you haven't used your, the power of your sword. Right, like it's it's in the details of your sword. Okay, so did I, would I cut ties? What did I what did I leave? What did I not cut ties with? Am I still talking to certain people? Am I still listening to certain things? Do I still listen to certain music or do I still watch certain things? Like what am I? What 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 is it? What what am I not getting here? What is it? 
so here we have the knight of swords right so this is something got somebody real focused like i said stuff start coming to somebody through some nightmares it looks like in the cars here something when you start getting focused some information start coming to you through some nightmares and people are waking up from their own nightmares as well so yeah so here we have six seven eight nine yeah yeah so people are waking up from their own nightmares of just being around hurt people who hurt other people People are waking up from some nightmares of just being around hurt people who are, they just, somebody's like somebody is sandwiched in between two nightmares, right? And so here we have the devil card. Yep, the devil card. And so again, for you, you're not operating in fear. You have created very firm boundaries and you're not afraid to enforce those boundaries. So like I said, you have a guardian angel and, um, who's watching over you, who is alerting you to a whole lot of things. Here we have the Queen of Pentacles here, who's alerting you to a whole lot of things. So, Source is definitely putting you around other energies who are down-to-earth, relatable, hard-working people. Um, yeah, definitely putting you around some other people. So, And keeping people outside of your vault door, you know. Keeping people outside of your vault door. Yeah, there's an um, Ace of Swords. So... There could be some energies, like I said, it's two sides of the swords. It could be some energies as asking motive, like how come, you know, you're out there outside of your vault door, they're down to earth, they're relatable, you know, they may not understand why, you know, but um, sources say a lot of it has to do with, you know, maybe you had a conversation with somebody and says, hey, you know, don't, you know, don't say you know, what's going on in your house or whatever. Some people just don't, I don't know. Some people just don't get it. Some people just don't get it. So. And some people are so overwhelmed all the time and so preyed on and so in survival mode. You adding one little conversation to something could just be like the like a almost send them into nervous breakdown mode. So when you pick up on that energy, you may not even say anything. You may just say, "Okay, I don't want to add to somebody's stress," but it could be the very thing that backfires on you. You know, so that's why somebody had to just say, "Oh, yeah, close the vault door." So again, moving forward into some kind of a, you could have a, like I said, a new situation for somebody um, where you're building legacy with somebody, but you are protected in love. That's not something you have to worry about, but somebody's plan to disrupt your money. I mean, somebody plan to disrupt your money backfire. Somebody, she apologizes for betraying you, but don't forget that rest is a form of self-care. Get focused, you know. You're a star in your own right, but so is everybody because everybody has a star sign, right? But your peace is paramount. Relax. Keep moving forward. Your laughter is medicine. Something was trying to box somebody's money in, you know, trying to kind of like count somebody's money, trying to, you know, somehow box somebody's money in, right? But the curse is now broken. There are signs all around you, you know, it's time to start dating again, make a list of pros and cons. Somebody wants to call you, but they haven't changed. But create the change that you want because they are succubus. Put yourselves first. Just do the mirror work. You know, toss some things into a burning bowl and keep it moving forward. So pray for them. You know, messenger from God. The spy is now turned on, but don't look back. Don't look back. Somebody could have been interested in you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Um, but something about their spirit is just very betrayal, very, you know, very much competitive when it comes to you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. But again, somebody wants to reconnect with you in some way, your head and heart are no longer at war with each other. That would have definitely been a demonic bond. That that would have been, that would have, yeah. You're not trying to build a legacy with that, whoever it is. So... Um, so that door is closed. That door is closed. They talk too much. They like to run in their mouth. They just, uh, they, are pick, they have a pick me spirit. They want to be a part of stuff so bad. Something about their spirit lets you know, like you're a hardworking person, you're building, you're doing things, but they just like to gossip too much. Something about their mouth. They just like to talk too much. They talk way too much. They just want to be involved in stuff. Something else is going on with them. So... A hurt person who likes to hurt other people. So you're just awakening to some things. 
Then we have 1111. So I am awakening the universe is arranging people and experiences on my path, on your path to help you succeed, to helping you to wake up to who you truly are. Yep. So anybody that you have had to close a door on where you feel like mm, this something about this would be toxic. That's why I always tell you, write down everything. Like, for instance, if you're building a legacy with somebody, what does that energy like what what are, what are, what frequency are you on? What are the what's the energy you desire to attract? What frequency are you on? Right? So you can you got to be so detailed in like what it is you want, like what the person looks like on the outside, what they are on the inside, you know. Do you want somebody with kids? Do you want somebody without kids? Do you want to have kids? Are you do you want great, you know, grandkids? <laughs> Do you not want grandkids? Do you like pets? Do you do you have allergies? Like for real, like all of that stuff matters. Do what kind of relationship do they have with their family? Have you know um, um, what happened in their last year? Like like the, having those conversations are very important. So, um, but yeah, somebody is very clear about bonds, whatever bonds, and that's it. This right here, yep. Do they have a temper, right? Do they see your do they see your star shining bright as competition to their star shining bright? Like, you know, have they been able to leave their past behind? Do you all have the same speaking of the moon card? Do they have the same belief systems that you have? Are they still attached to people who have let's say for instance you watch tarot and they have the same beliefs, but are they still attached to people who don't believe? You know, that uh, they, they demonize tarot, so they torn in the middle of something. Like, it's all of that's important. All of that's important. So, here we have, I deserve success, and that's what you will get. That is what you will get. That is what you will get. Let's make a song about it. But no, that's what you'll get. That is what you will get. So, yeah, so some, there is relationships, right? So, I am surrounded by healthy, happy, peaceful people. I attract healthy relationships. I speak my truth. I listen to understand another's truth. I am grateful for genuine love in my life. I am supported by those who reveal my best qualities. I give love and receive love. I release attachment to all against my highest good. So, when you're thinking about, because we got legacy wealth here, that's all of that. Even people from your past, you could have been married before. You could have been um, whatever the situation was. You could have thought about getting married to somebody before. You could have dated people. Could have, you know, almost been there, met their family, and was like, uh, no thanks. <laughs> whatever it was, Source wanted you to learn the lesson about yourself. Like, what frequency are you on, right? So that you don't enter into something where all your hurt and pain somebody has gotten familiar with all your hurt and pain and then you looking for them you know you 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 don't you're not necessarily looking for them to save you but you're like you're not looking for them to stand around there and let people throw darts at you either <laughs> in their family like they just stand there and they just stay there with a fan in their hand man or woman don't really matter y'all know what i'm saying i'm just but they just standing there like they don't hear with their family attacking you and saying all kinds of stuff. You just, you're like, what the heck? You invited me to this? So, yeah. That's the energy I feel like somebody's on. I feel like somebody has gone. So, I feel like somebody's a really nice person. You have a big heart. You love deep and you love hard. But I don't think that you need to invest as much time as you may have in the past. And before you can see, you know it's not going to take you that long to see if you're around hurt people that like to hurt other people for you to know whether it's a, it would be a demonic bond or a twin flame. I think you would already just know. And that's something you'll be also passing down to if you have kids, mentees, mentors, whoever, family members, whoever. I feel like it won't even take you that long to teach people that. It's like, y'all, you don't need to spend that much time to be around people. You already know what hurt feels like. So you don't even need to take that much time. So here we have creation. Yep, so through the darkness, I crossed and I still found myself in the presence of life. Yep. And people don't get to determine what was traumatic for you. People don't get to determine what was traumatic for you. So if you tell somebody something was traumatic for you and they still do it, cut.
because at that point they become desensitized to their own pain and they just like they in a zombified state cut maybe that's the only thing they understand when you cut them out just like that now all of a sudden they woke up out of a trance the spell has been broken because you decide hey cut you still you're not you're not hearing something so i'm at the i'm at the cut you off so yeah get focused you know um yeah get focused like I said, once you start making a list of pros and cons, when you start thinking about your legacy and who you want to build your legacy with in business and or in love, because I see somebody um, connected to you, and this is where the beginning starts. This is ace, right? This is the beginning. This is where your breakthrough happens, is that you are have been laser-focused on investing in yourself and learning who you want to build legacy with, and that a lot of things are going to come into play. You work too hard to do right here, get to your um, king of wands, which is like a person who is, um, you know how to pray. You see who's praying on you from your throne. You um, you know who has a predatory spirit. Your head and heart are no longer at war with each other. You're going to feel like you hit the jackpot, for real. You're going to feel like you hit the jackpot because you created such firm boundaries in terms of your traditions and things. You already know who's attached to their demons and who are not, who's not, so... This is like easy for you. It'll be easy. Like I said, the de the, uh, the um, devil is really in the details, right? The devil is in the details. You, It's not even like you're even judging anybody because it'll feel like, for one, you'll feel like, okay, yeah, you may have an angel on one shoulder and a devil on another, right? You may say, okay, you're a little indecisive when it comes to some things. But then you start waking, like I said, making a list of pros and cons. And then you go with what you believe. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters is what you believe. Anything that's trying to limit your abundance, that's all that matters. What you believe. Even if a person says, well, I don't, well what, what, what's the proof? It doesn't matter. What you believe based on this date, this date, this date, this date, this action, this action, this action. You're not getting into a back and forth. You're not getting into a sword fight. You know how you felt, right? You know how you felt about something. You know, that's all you know. That's how you felt. Now, whatever trance they was in, somebody woke up out of something. Did we see here? Well, hold on. We're just double checking, make sure something. Yeah, but somebody's planning to disrupt your money. Yeah, but like I said, you are protected in love. Your laughter is medicine. Your peace is paramount. She, whoever she is, apologizes for betraying you. Um, mm hmm. Yeah, the spy is now turned on. Yeah, toss it into a burning bowl. Like I said, do the mirror work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some people want to change, call you, but the day haven't changed. Yeah, the curse is now broken. So whatever curse, yeah, whatever curse that was is broken. Curse is broken. Yeah, you're not definitely not going backwards. Definitely not going backwards. So yeah, get focused, get focused, get focused, get focused. Yeah. Alrighty, I think that's it. I think we got, let me see, this card, this card, this card, this card. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, you deserve success. Yeah, you deserve success. And that's exactly what you're going to get. That's what we're saying. That's the starting card there. So that's what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. I will see you all in the next reading. All right, bye.